Hello, I am Alden Kamire, and in this video I'll be talking about the movie Amadeus and what makes it the fantastic piece of work it is. Now, what really makes this movie so fantastic is how the filmmakers decided to use sound in this film. Quite frankly, sound is a pretty big deal in this movie because the whole movie revolves around music. Now, our first example of how the filmmakers decide to use sound in this movie is in the very first scene, in which we see our main protagonist, Salieri, trying to kill himself. Now, during this attempted suicide, we, the audience, are accompanied with the sound of loud and intense classical music. And, quite frankly, it makes the scene more shocking, more terrifying than it actually is. And with Without it, we wouldn't have this sense of excitement that this scene has. Another good example of how they decided to use sound in this film is when Salieri is explaining to the father one of the times when he first picked up a composition of Mozart. And, and what he does is he describes the composition to the father. And during this description of one of Mozart's compositions, we we hear the music that Salieri is is trying to explain to the father. And all the while, the music is synced to Salieri's description of the music, which just makes it seem like Salieri is currently hearing the music in his head as he is explaining it to the father as if he were looking over the composition again for the first time. One of the last good examples of how they decide to use sound in this film is towards the end of the movie when Mozart is working on one of his last pieces. And while he is working on it, we are accompanied with the sound of the music he is currently working on. Now, while he is working on it, his wife comes in and tries to get his attention for some reason. We, and first it, stops off, it starts off with a soft and quiet hey, until it accumulates into a yelling at, his, at her husband to try and get his attention. Finally, Mozart snaps out of it, and as soon as he snaps out of it, the music that the audience was hearing disappears, which makes it seem as it makes it so we, the audience, can understand that while he was working on it, Mozart was hearing it in his head. But of course, he lost his train of thought, so it goes dead silent. Thank you for listening. This was Alden Kamire, and I hope you enjoyed the video.